Hi everyone, it's Leonie from Stampa Latte. I'm here to show you today how to use your acrylic blocks for your clear mount stamps to uh, make some pretty back backgrounds. This one here is just one that I've inked up around the edges. I've stamped it down and then I've stamped the greeting on the middle and then I've cut that one out. So that's that one. This one here is one where I've used one of the smaller blocks and I've inked it up. That's in the Hello Honey and then in the Lost Lagoon and then I've stamped them off first and then onto my card so they're not as dark and they're just sort of like a background there for you and then I've used um, an open heart stamp set which is a new one in the new catalogue for this one here. Now what I am going to show you today is how to do these watercolour like backgrounds. Okay, so let's get started. I've already got a piece of, um, half a piece of our A4 cardstock, which is just folded in half in the um, portrait orientation for this one here. So all you need to do, I'll just put that aside because I don't want to get that all inked up first, is just kind of grab your ink pads, just pick a couple of colors that you want to use, and then you're just going to put the ink direct to the block. This colour here is Tempting Turquoise and then I'm going to add some Blackberry Bliss to the other side. So just flip it around and do the same thing. Just get it close to each other. You don't want to mix your colours. So don't um, <clears throat> actually stamp over the top of the other one. Now this here is one of our little spritzer bottles. And I've just got some water in this, so I'm just going to find where the nozzle is, so I spray it in the right direction, don't spray myself in the face. Is I'm just going to take, just going to spritz that with some water. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, I might need to put a little bit more water. Oh, the blue's got a bit of water on there. I just want them to meld a little bit in the middle, so I'll just get my spritzer again and then just sort of spritz a bit just so that they run together to give you like a bit of a, a watercolour effect. Then you're going to pull your card in, and hopefully, I don't get ink all over the place when I do this. Okay, and just mix it up a little bit. Turning upside down. Oh, and then I've done it. I'll just move that over and then just let the water spread underneath. Should have got some tissues before I started. That's okay. So you're just going to hold the bottom of your card and lift your block straight up. Okay, so that's the basic of that then you just want it to dry off a little bit okay okay so that's dried somewhat now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a Blackberry Bliss ink pad right. I'm just taking the large flower from the Bloom with Hope stamp set I'm just going to stamp it Oops, on this side here going to use the center of my flower to fill in that gap right there okay and then we'll pop that off to the sides and the other stamp set I'm going to use today is this one here called hello there okay so it's got hello there so sweet of you for you and a couple of little stamps there. So I'm just going to take that one off. Pop that one on. And ink that up. And pop that down the middle there. 
Okay, so there is your lovely watercolour look. Simple one layer card. So this is just how to, I just wanted to show you how to make this card to show you how to do that watercolour background effect. It really is quite stunning. And that's it for today. So just stop by my blog because I'll have a couple of other cards on there. The ones that I showed you at the beginning on how to, um, on the products that I've used for those cards there. Okay, thanks for stopping by.